Okay guys, today's project is going to be the uh, what I call a sharpshooter double end ball and this is the stuff that we're going to be using and it should come out for less than ten dollars and that's the finished product where we're going to be doing I'm going to be using the same saline and floor anchors our first step is going to be to take the tennis ball and mark where we're going to put make some holes on the ball and take about the top center mark it and then do the same for the bottom part of the ball once we've done that you're going to want to take a sharp object object today i'm going to be using a screw a very sharp screw so make sure that you're using gloves and be careful that you don't puncture your hands and that's so we can relieve some of the pressure of the ball since the tennis balls are air pressured and we're going to puncture the hole in the top part and the bottom part okay and the reason why we want to relieve release the uh, air pressure inside the ball is because we're going to be using a hot screwdriver to puncture the hole and if we don't really release the uh, air pressure it might blow out some hot rubber at you so make sure you do this first okay so now we do the same thing for the bottom part of the ball and once we finish we'll take it inside to the kitchen and this is how I heat it up by screwdriver I'm using a Phillips screwdriver and now I'm gonna punch it right through the hole that I made with the uh, screw and make sure you point the ball away from you okay there you go just drive it in there rotate the screwdriver a couple times make sure that when you pull the screwdriver out it doesn't uh, point towards you because it might shoot out some hot rubber do the same for both the top and the bottom and that will create a nice even round hole just make sure that you don't keep the screwdriver in there too long because it will burn the uh, felt on the uh, tennis ball and you can see a little bit of the burn marks in, around and it's done once we've done that don't forget to cool off the screwdriver by rinsing it in real cold cold water all right you don't want to be touching the screwdriver or have somebody else touch it and burn themselves so once we've done that we take any screwdriver, Phillips, uh, flathead, and just clean out the uh, the holes on the tennis ball. Do the same for the top and the bottom. Okay, now we've done that. Now that we've done that, we're going to take some of the parachute parachute rope, and we're going to make a ball sling. And it's about approximately four feet in length. It's going to be a sling about four feet in length, but we're going to uh, divide it in half folding in half and it should be two feet per side then once we've done that we're gonna burn off the edges using a, a lighter so it doesn't fry the rope the rope doesn't fry and then it'll come apart once we've done that we have take two ends and make a knot and try to make it as small as possible because we're gonna pull that through the ball make sure you make it nice and tight and as small as possible and that's the uh, sling that we're going to be using then you take your grandma's knitting needle punch it through the ball from one end all the way through to both ends once you've done that attach one part of the uh, sling and just put it right through once you've done that now what we want is to get that knot inside the ball so that it doesn't show so make sure that you make that end nice and short until the knot is right at the edge of the hole once you've done that you're going to need to pressure and pull at the same time pretty hard so you can get that knot in there and it does take a little bit of effort so make sure that you pull nice and hard and it, it will go through and press on it if you can do whatever it takes but it will go through once you've done that make sure that you get to both ends of the ball approximately the same length so once they're nice and even there it is that looks about good once they're nice and even what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some knots 
going to take one side, one end, and we'll start with the top part, or the bottom part, and we'll make a knot right there, and get it as close as possible to the ball. We're going to do the same for the top and the bottom part. Make sure that you pull it nice and tight. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Now we're going to do the same on the top. And that is going to be just to keep the ball in place so that it doesn't slide up or down when you're striking the ball. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing to the top part of the ball and just remember to get it as close as closest to the ball as possible and that looks pretty good once we've done that I've already measured the top sling that I'm going to be using from the ceiling to the ball to the top part of the ball and I did that measuring the height where where I want the ball to be I want it to be to about chin high nose high you measure it once you've done the top sling, you're gonna do this. It's a simple sling. Once you've done that, we're gonna tie it up to the top part of the ball. Okay, this is the sling that I'm gonna be using for my ceiling to the ball. And I've already pre-measured mine. And all I'm gonna do is make a loop on the top end of my tennis ball. And it's just a simple little loop it's not even a knot. Put it into there. Slide the top part of my sling up there and just pull it through until you have a little loop. <coughs> okay, now that we've done that, we need to work on making our bungee. And I'm going to take some old uh, resistant bands or tubings. We're going to cut the handles off and we're going to save those handles for another project. Okay, and we want to cut that part off also. And that's what we're going to be using. We're going to be using the tubing for our, uh, for our bungee. Once we've done that, we're going to remove this black plastic sleeves from our exercise tubings and since it has these little balls in there so we're going to take those off cut those off just make sure you don't cut your fingers off okay remove that save the little black uh, sleeve take off the inside part of the tubing that was left over and just peel it off and uh, it'll come off just pull on it, tug on it, bite on it, do whatever it takes, just get it off. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to use this for. Okay, so now I got that sleeve out of the tubing, and I'm going to put it back into the tubing that I'm going to use as the uh, rubber bungee. I'm going to slide one end of the rubber tubing into my bottom part of my double end, my sharpshooter double end ball folding in half and we're going to take some of our plastic straps which I got at the 99 cent store you see that pack right there and we're going to tie it together to keep it in place slide it through there make it nice and tight once we've got it nice and tight there you go and pull it on pull it there you go. Once it's nice and tight, we're going to trim the uh, leftover strap. There we go. Cut off the excess part and just trim, round off the edges, the sharp corners. And if you want, you can also we're going to be using a lighter to burn off those edges so there's nothing sharp. So we get our lighter and oops, drop the lighter. So once we 
finish you're gonna burn off a tip so that it's not sharp at all and there it goes that looks pretty good now that's one strap we're gonna put a second strap right at the end right about there and I'm gonna do this in in uh, two times the speed just to save you guys some time from watching the video okay once I finish putting on my second strap and round it off the edges I'm gonna pull the sleeve over those two straps now you don't have to put this rubber sleeve on the uh, on your setup what you can do is use some electrical tape and just tape over if you if you want but I just thought I'd try to be a little more creative so that's gonna be on my top part and now we're gonna do the same thing in the bottom part we're gonna slide the other sleeve and at this end we're gonna use a self-locking carabiner carabiner whatever you call these things there we go we're gonna do the same thing and attach it and use some straps to hold it together like so and we're gonna do the same process that we did on the other end I'm gonna use the rubber I mean the plastic straps to tighten and hold it together clip up clip off the edges round off the edges um, burn it with the lighter and once we've done both of them like so uh, we're gonna cover them using that rubber sleeve that we had left over now this is the end that's gonna go to my floor anchor okay so there it goes now I'm covering it and it's done now what I've also done on this one I used two metal rings as adjusters okay now that I've connected my top part of my sharpshooter ball I'm gonna put my carabiner into the adjuster and then I use a second carabiner to connect it to my bottom floor anchor uh, those adjusters that you see right there those metal rings is, is so that you can adjust the uh, the ball so that it can sway more for advanced uh, users and less make it a tighter tension for beginners so if you can see right there it's on the top adjustment and you can always readjust it and it looks pretty good uh, this is the finished product it's a great tool for developing the jab the straight right hand or snapping your punches anyways I hope you enjoyed this video